Hello everyone and welcome back to rubberstamps.com. Today we are going to be creating a beautiful astrology card using our brand new Leo stamp set. This is going to be a pretty straightforward card. You don't need a ton of supplies. We're just going to need this stamp set, markers, pigment ink, and some clear embossing powder. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is lay out how you want your stamps structured on the piece of paper. I already did that, and then I'm going to take my clear block and actually push it down right on top of the stamps so that I can easily remove them exactly in place, and I don't have to mess with the arrangement after I already laid it out so nicely on the card. Next we're going to take pigment ink. We're using the Remarks Black Pigment Ink. And it's important that you use pigment ink for this or a specific embossing ink because we are going to be using embossing powder and this pigment ink is a little bit juicier so the embossing powder sticks a lot easier to the pigment ink. So make sure you use even pressure when you stamp down onto the card and then remove the stamp block. Next, we're going to completely cover the card with our clear embossing powder. I like to put it over a piece of scrap paper so I can save some of the excess when we're done. Just make sure you completely cover all of the black ink with the clear embossing powder. And now we are going to use our heat gun to set the embossing powder so that it hardens onto the ink like a clear plastic. Next, we're going to take this Emboss It pen. It comes in a few different colors, but we're going to specifically be using the black pen today. And then you're going to grab your ruler, line it up with each of the rays on the sun, and connect the end of the ray to the edge of the paper. Make sure that you have it lined up really well because you only get one shot at this, and we want to make sure that it lines up perfectly so you can't tell where the stamp ends and the marker begins. And then you're going to sprinkle embossing powder over the top of that, shake it off, and use the heat gun. And we are going to fast forward through this next part, but make sure you repeat this process for each of the lines connecting the end of the ray to the edge of the paper. Now we're going to take our markers and start filling in some of the stamps that we have. I'm going to start by coloring in the lion. I'm using two different types of teal for the lion. For the lion's body and face, I'm going to be using the lighter shade of teal. And then for the lion's mane and the tail, we'll be using the darker shade of teal. And I'm actually going to go over the main twice with this darker teal just to make sure that you really can tell the difference in shade. And don't forget to color in his little nose. Next we're going to be using these two colors. It's kind of a marigold color and a raspberry color. And this is what we're going to be using for the rays of the sun moon. And we're just going to alternate every other using the raspberry and the marigold. Now we're going to take this fine line liquid glue and just add the smallest dots on the back of the front piece of the card. I'm going to do it right in the corners and then in the center of the sun moon. Then you can flip that over and adhere it to the back of the card. Just make sure that it's centered before you push down. All right, and here is the final result. I think this card is so cute. I love the colors that are on this card. I think that it's just so perfect together. And I also like how the shiny embossing powder turned out. That looks super cute. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more content like this. Don't forget to stay up to date with all of our card making tutorials. We have a lot more coming at you. We'll see you next time.